15 years. So I just installed the Intel BE200 Wi-Fi 7 adapter in my Acer Aspire notebook here. Here's the BE200. I'll put a link to it below. It's an M.2 module for your laptop and it supports up to 320 megahertz mode for Wi-Fi 7. One of the features of Wi-Fi 7 is multi-link, so you'll be able to combine all three bands to get up to 8.7 gigabits per now second. This is a M.2 e-keyed card, so your laptop has to have an e-key slot in order to use this. You also need to have an Intel CPU to use this card. Now, I have a 10th generation Intel Acer Aspire 5. You can see the M.2 slot with the connectors to the left-hand side. This is an E-key slot with all the wires connected. If you have this, you should be able to use the you card. You also need to be running Windows 11 to use this card. I'll put a link to the Intel drivers. The card comes with a sketchy website link that you could use, but I would just download the official drivers from Intel. At this point, Windows 11 doesn't fully support multi-link for Wi-Fi 7, but it does support the 320 megahertz extremely high throughput mode with the Wi-Fi 7 access point. Expecting that the Windows Update 24H2 will add full Wi-Fi 7 support by the end of the year. So go ahead and load that driver first and then install the card. Now be extremely careful with these UFL connectors. They can be finicky. Take your time to install these. If you crush them, you're gonna have to replace them. After you install the card, the driver will load and you'll see that you have access to 802.axeht. Make sure to enable the throughput booster option and then hit apply. Now I'm waiting for two Wi-Fi 7 access points to arrive, the Ruckus R770 and the Ingenious ECW536. In the meantime, I'm gonna test with my Wi-Fi 6E access points. At close distance, I'm connecting at over two gigabits per second, but this is a, a data rate, not an actual throughput. If I run a speed test, I'm just about maxing out my internet connection, which is about 1.4 gig. I run iPerf, I'm getting about 1.5 gigabits per second. Now remember, I'm testing against Wi-Fi 6E access points, which only have 160 megahertz mode. We should see that closer to that 8.7 gigabits with a Wi-Fi 7 access point in 320 megahertz mode. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Wi-Fi and tech products. And remember, we'll be testing Wi-Fi 7 access points with this adapter soon.